Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to explain composition to you in programming. Composition represents a part of relationship between objects. For example, an engine is part of a car. An object can be part of another object. This allows for complex objects to be constructed from smaller objects. In this demonstration, we're going to create a car object. The car object is composed of an engine object. We will create a class of car and a class of engine. We'll begin with our class of car. What sorts of attributes should cars have? Let's say a string of model, an int of year, and an engine object. Engine, engine. We'll need a constructor. We'll pass in a string for the model, an int for the year. Now for the engine, we're not going to be passing in an engine object. Let's say that when we construct a car object, we have to pass in a string for the engine type. Is it an inline engine? Is it a V6? That sort of thing. We will assign this dot model equals the model that we receive. This dot year equals the year that we receive. Now with our engine, this dot engine, we're going to call the constructor for a new engine object. And then we can pass in our engine type. But we still, however, have to set up the constructor for our engine class. When constructing a car object, we will also be constructing a new engine object. So let's go to our engine class. Let's say that engines have a string of type. You could say engine type, but that would be redundant, I would say. Let's just say type. Then we need a constructor. For our engine class, we will need a string of type to pass in. This dot type equals type. So going back to our car class, when we pass in a string for the engine type, you could say that this is type. This term is kind of ambiguous though, because a user is going to think that the type is for the car type rather than the engine type. So when you pass arguments, your parameter names can be different from the argument names that you pass in. We simply rename them when this constructor receives that argument. But type refers to the engine type. All right, so this is a basic demonstration of composition. Now we'll construct a car object. Car car equals new car. And then we have to pass in the following. A string for the model, an int for the year, and a string for the engine type. Pick a card that you like. This time I will pick a Corvette. The year will be 2025. And for the engine, I will pick a V8 engine. Then let's see if we have these details. I'm going to output my car objects, model, and these attributes I did not set to private, but you can set them to private and use getters and setters if you would like. So we have model, year, and we have an engine object. Here's what we have. We have our model, Corvette, year 2025. Now for the engine, our engine is an object. It's a reference data type. So if you output it directly, you're given a hash ID to represent that engine object. So if we need the type of engine, we're going to access our engine object then get the type. So following our engine object, we will use that access modifier, that dot, then access the type, the attribute. So the engine type is a V8. So it's like we have an object that's composed with another object. Our engine is part of our car. You know what, let's create a method for the engine. We'll create a start method, void start. We'll output the following, let's say, using a print line statement, you start the plus this dot type, meaning type of the engine, plus the word engine. Then going to our car class, let's create a start method for the car class. Void start. When we start the car, we also start the engine. 
let's take this dot engine call its start method and then we can output something else too if we would like let's output the plus this dot model plus the words is running now if we start the car let's take our car call it start method and we should get the following you start the v8 engine the corvette is running now a key difference with composition is that if we delete our car object that should also delete our engine because our engine is part of our car so to demonstrate that i'm going to delete our car object and we no longer have access to the engine. All right, everybody, that is composition. It represents a part of relationship between objects. For example, an engine is part of a car. This allows for complex objects to be constructed from smaller objects. And well, everybody, that is composition using Java.